Hello, I thought I'd answer your question about how to record automation data um, from a, an external MIDI controller through to ACID Pro. Now, you didn't specifically state ACID Pro, and I have a funny feeling this doesn't work in ACID Music Studio. But I could be wrong, I couldn't see anything anymore on the um, product comparison page to specifically state that you couldn't record automation data, real time automation data. But certainly at one point you couldn't. So maybe this has changed in the later version of AMS. Anyway, we're going to do this in ACID Pro. I'm using ACID Pro 11, but this will work exactly the same in ACID Pro 10. There's no differences in that regard. OK, I've got a very simple project with a MIDI track and a MIDI clip, and we're routing that into Silent, and it sounds a little bit like this. Right, very nice. Uh, I have a MIDI keyboard that you can't see because I don't have a camera um, and I've mapped a knob on the keyboard through to this cutoff control here on silent so if I twiddle the knob you can see that it is changing it's very nice uh, now if we hit play in the project great stuff that is working nicely so the simplest way to record MIDI automation is to arm the track for record and then hit record in your project. Put the playhead where you want to start from and you'll see something that's not ideal. It wipes out our notes, so that's not great. Now, I have had a look at MIDI input filters here um, and if we can actually go and try this out, uh, it sounds like you should be able to filter out like we don't want to record the notes, for example. So let's say record unselected items only. And let's just like tick all the things on this first screen. OK, and it is enabled. Now, if we go and hit record again, you would expect it to not overwrite the notes, but it does. OK, so maybe I'm missing something here if I am somebody knows how to record automation but not delete the notes in the clip then that would be super useful um, but anyway there is a way around it so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this MIDI clip onto a new track by holding down control and just dragging it so now we have two tracks and they're both uh, the output on both of them is to the is to silent. So now they're both sending the exact same MIDI information through to silent. You actually don't need this second clip. It's fine. Um, but uh, right. So now what's going to happen is this bottom track is going to send the notes into silent, and this upper track is going to send everything else. Okay. So. Let's hit record. Put on the knob, and we can see that an automation envelope is being played, uh, recorded into the track. Nice. Okay. Now, when we hit play, we should hear those changes being sent into silent. see the knob changing excellent right now um, that is great a uh, couple of like unintended benefits of this actually is um, if you've ever done if you've ever had a project with a lot of automation envelopes on the same track actually gets really like really messy and very difficult to go and select the right envelope um, so Inadvertently, what we've done here is we've actually sent, set up automation lanes for MIDI. So if you want, you could keep this as it is and you could create multiple tracks, MIDI tracks for each separate MIDI automation. You could do that if you wanted, you were so inclined. Um, it certainly works. Uh, in this instance, though, we don't want to do that. We actually want to just have one track so we're going to delete that clip move that clip back up there and we can delete that 
track. Great. Uh, so now when we play back, great stuff. Now, uh, just another little tip here. So if you ever wanted to come in and edit this envelope, like manually go and like, like go and change it, that's, there's a lot of points there. You can't realistically, realistically go and edit that. So just a quick tip on how you can clean that up. So uh, if we click on one of these controls, you only see these controls when your, your MIDI track is extended out. Um, we can come in here and it's showing us that this, uh, this MIDI control here is, is brightness. That's not there by default. It's just because we've added that envelope. So if we select that, we're going to change this, this control here from Portamento time to brightness. Okay. Uh, and then from there on, we can click on thin envelope data. And there we go. It gives us essentially the same control. Um, but now we've only got a few points and that's a lot easier to go in and edit. So uh, there you go. A couple of little tips around uh, recording MIDI. Hopefully that's been useful. If you've got any other questions, feel free to uh, probably put it into a new post on the forum. And yeah, see you around.